Hi everybody, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to look at the Hoffman's test, or Hoffman's reflex. Think of the Hoffman as Babinski for the upper extremity. Right? If somebody has some type of upper motor neuron lesion, you'll pick it up. So it's anywhere C3 to C5 in the cord, it's compressed, we'll pick it up. So what we do with the patient is we come through, we take their finger, we take, we're going to do a little bit of a flick on their nail. And what I'm going to do, I could flick like that, that motion. I can come from the front or do the same thing and flick it. And if it's a positive test, you'll see flexion of the hand. So he's he going to make it up. So as I do that, he would do that, especially the first and second digits. And you'll see that. And it's a consistent, consistent finding. So if you have a patient, as you do part of your screening exam for, again, we always talk about, is this our patient? We see somebody with a positive Hoffman. We look at cervical myelopathy. We start might seeing other things like balance issues then we know if the doctor doesn't know about it, we send it back. If they do, then we keep an eye on it to see if there's changes and we can monitor them throughout. Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.